I'm Rhett Nelson with EastIdahoNews.com. I am standing in front of the hydroelectric dam in Chester, Idaho. The power plant behind me uh, is constantly generating 800 kilowatts of power. That's enough to power about 500 homes. I'm here with Chad Johnson. He's the plant supervisor. He's going to give us a tour and show us how the power generation process works. The dam sits on the bank of the Henry's Fork where it converges with Fall River. You got the concrete dam and then the rubber dam sits on top of that. We divert some of that water through the power turbine. There's three units in here can produce power. Usually we only have enough flow to run two of the three units at a time. The black ring is the rotating ring. And then all the black arms are tied to what's called wicket gates. That's what allows the water to pass across the runner and they have a, a pitch an adjustable blade on them. So you can adjust the blades and be able to get better efficiency out of the unit. From there, the water flows back into the river. The red fan generates electricity, which is fed directly to the power grid. The power just comes out uh, into the gray cabinets on the side. We got transformers out here on the back side of the plant. And the more water I allow through the unit, to come through the unit, the faster that shaft's gonna wanna spin. So as I allow more water through, the generator and the programming we have in the computer system will increase the voltage to maintain a set speed, which are, creates more resistance, more power production. We can control everything out there from right here. The Chester Dam is one of four hydroelectric power projects operated by Fall River Electric. 85% of the power on its grid is hydropower, and 15% of that is generated by its four power plants. Hydropower's been used as long as man's been around, and it's very efficient. That's why it's been used for so long. In Chester, I'm Rhett Nelson, eastidahonews.com.